Let's talk about how the Dyson cordless vacuum cleaner sucks out dust from every nook and corner of your house. I am a huge proponent of a robot vacuum cleaner, but in spite of that, I recently purchased a Dyson cordless vacuum cleaner. A robot vacuum cleaner is great at cleaning the floors. For everything outside of the floors, you require an additional vacuum cleaner. And I believe that a cordless vacuum cleaner is much more beneficial than a corded vacuum cleaner, even though it has a slightly lower suction power. So here are 13 reasons why I bought a Dyson cordless vacuum cleaner. The first is dusting. Now I stay near a very crowded intersection in Bangalore and my house has a lot of dust and this is dust outside of the floors. So if you look at the mirrors or you look at electronic equipment like the sound bar or even artifacts that are placed in the house, it gets very, very dusty very soon. And that is one of the reasons why I purchased the Dyson because of the attachments that it has for dusting delicate items as well. The second reason is for cleaning ceiling fans. Now I've had a corded Philips vacuum cleaner for a fair amount of time, but it never was useful in cleaning the ceiling fans because the cord was never long enough. And in spite of that, I would require a ladder and so on to actually clean, which makes it extremely cumbersome. With the Dyson, it has an extension attachment, which you can use to extend your vacuum cleaner and it becomes extremely easy to reach your ceiling fans. And since I've purchased it in the last few months, I've used the Dyson to clean my ceiling fa fans more often than I have cleaned in the past. The third is cleaning cobwebs. So like the ceiling fans, it used to be very difficult to clean cobwebs using a regular corded vacuum cleaner. And hence, I used to use a broom to actually clean it. And that used to make the entire floor very dirty and the house very dusty as well. Post purchasing the Dyson with the extension attachment that we have with the Dyson, it becomes extremely easy to clean out cobwebs as well in high reaching places. The fourth is cleaning your balcony rails and your window rails. This has been one of a biggest irritant for me because it was never easy to reach and clean. With the flexible extension hose that the Dyson has, it now becomes extremely easy to reach out to hard reaching places of the window rails as well. But of course, since this has been a neglected place for a long period of time, and if, it, if dust and water have mixed together, it kind of leaves a residue which is not enough to dust using a vacuum cleaner, then you need to follow another process for that. But if it is just dust, a Dyson vacuum cleaner does an extremely good job of cleaning it. The fifth reason why I bought a Dyson vacuum cleaner is cleaning the mattresses and sofas. Now, earlier we used to call an external agency to come and do a deep cleaning at least once a year. But with COVID, we have not been able to do that and I, it does not seem like we will be able to call anybody in the near term. So that's another reason why we purchased a Dyson vacuum cleaner. It has attachments that make it extremely easy to clean your sofas and your mattresses as well. The sixth reason why we got a Dyson is cleaning the inside of the car. Now again, this is an area which used to be cleaned by a car cleaner in the past, but recently we've only been asking him to clean the outside of the car and not the inside of the car. And we only give it for service once in six months or once a year, so the insides barely get cleaned at all. And I don't think, again, we may call anybody to clean the inside of the car in the near term primarily due to COVID. Having a cordless vacuum cleaner becomes extremely useful in this case because you can just clean the car without any hassles of requiring a power plug over there. The seventh reason why we bought a Dyson vacuum cleaner is to clean the inside of your wardrobes and your kitchen cabinet. When was the last time that you cleaned the inside of your wardrobe or kitchen cabinet? Especially inside the wardrobe, a mixture of hair, dust, makeup and other elements actually form a breeding ground for bacteria and dust mites. So a cordless vacuum cleaner like the Dyson makes it extremely easy to clean the inside of your cabinets. Be sure that when you're using it inside the kitchen cabinets to make sure that you clean your attachments before you use it inside the kitchen cabinets. The eighth reason why we got a Dyson vacuum cleaner is to clean the attic. When was the last time you were able to clean the attic? Even when you do not open your attic, there is a lot of dust that gets settled inside the attic, which again is out of sight, is out of mind. 
fine. You probably have never really cleaned it. With the Dyson vacuum cleaner and the flexible hose that it has, it makes it extremely easy to clean the attic as well. The ninth reason why we got the Dyson is to do a quick clean when we are expecting people at home. As you all might already know if you're using a robot vacuum cleaner, it takes at least one to one and a half hours to do a clean of the house. You can do a fairly quick clean, especially in the areas that everybody can see using the Dyson vacuum cleaner. The tenth reason why we got it is cleaning crevices. On the sides of your sofa or the edges of your mattress, if you actually just put your hand in there and see, you will find a lot of dust, hair and other kinds of food residues if you have eaten in that area. Inadvertently, something or the other goes and settles over there and having a crevice tool actually helps with that. The eleventh reason why we got the Dyson is to clean the corners of the floors. Yes, a robot vacuum cleaner does a great job of cleaning the floors, but at times it does leave the corners quite dirty. And for that, once in a while you can use a broom or you can use a vacuum cleaner if you have to clean the corners. The twelfth reason why we got the Dyson is cleaning the skirting. When was the last time you actually cleaned the skirting of your floor? If you actually go and take a look at it, there will be a lot of dust, I can assure you that. And again, the Dyson has tools that you can actually use for cleaning out the skirting as well. With a cordless vacuum cleaner like the Dyson, it's extremely easy to do the skirting because you can just take the vacuum cleaner in one quick round around your house in 10 minutes. If you had a corded vacuum cleaner, doing this would be a big hassle because you now need to keep connecting it here and there wherever you need to actually clean the skirting. And the last reason why we got it is to clean the doors. Now if you like me have doors which have crevices in them, it becomes a breeding ground for dust as well. And unless cleaned, you can actually see a, a fine layer of dust on the doors as well. Another very highly neglected part does not mean that I clean it on a regular basis, but whenever I'm doing a deep clean of the house, once a month or so, this becomes a part of that cleaning process. Yes, I can find many, many more reasons for actually using a cordless vacuum cleaner like the Dyson. And I still maintain that I do not have an OCD for cleaning. That said, the cordless vacuum cleaner is not perfect. Let's talk about what the problems are with a cordless vacuum cleaner, in this case with a Dyson. The first is that the suction power in the lowest mode is not great at all. If you want to do any kind of heavy duty cleaning, then the lowest mode cannot be used at all. You will need to use the medium or the high mode. In the lowest mode, the max you can probably do is cleaning the floors, for which the suction power is sufficient. Which brings me to the second point. The battery capacity in the medium and the high mode can be fairly low. In the medium mode, you can probably get a runtime of about 30 to 45 minutes. Whereas in the high mode, it, you will not get a runtime over 5 to 10 minutes, which is significantly low. And the last is that since cordless vacuum cleaners have the motor in the machine that you're holding itself, it does make the machine quite heavy. So I believe the Dyson is between 2 to 2.5 kgs. So if you're cleaning high reaching areas, then it becomes difficult to hold the cordless vacuum cleaner on top. Now I bought the V10 model instead of the V11 model. I've done a separate video where I compared these various different Dyson models and I find that the spec difference between the V10 and V11 is very little to actually justify the price difference between them. So I've got the V10 model because I got it on discount. Otherwise I might have even gone for the V8 model which was available for a much lower price. You need to keep in mind that the attachments between these models does not change way too much. The changes are primarily on the suction power, the runtime and so on. So keeping that in mind when you are making a purchase, you may want to make a purchase which suits your budget as well. Of course, there are a number of cordless vacuum cleaners available at a lower price point. I've done a comparison of that which I've linked to below. And a number of things I talk about today you can do with the lower priced cordless vacuum cleaners as well. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.